In this specific video, we're going to be talking about how to create XML sitemaps for better search engine optimization. XML sitemaps are not something that is normally readable by a human being, but rather by Google or any other search engine who comes to your site, which pretty much tells the search engines what your site is all about and a basic layout of your site. So let's go ahead and get started. In order to get started, you need to go to your WordPress dashboard, log in, and go to plugins. Now at the plugins menu here, click on add new, and we're gonna do a search on a specific plugin. So go ahead and type in XML sitemap, click search plugins, and you're looking specifically for a plugin Google XML sitemaps. Now there are a few more that are called Google XML sitemaps. However, through our review and through our findings, we found that this one was actually one of the better ones. So it's Google XML sitemaps and it's created by this author here. And you'll see another one here that's created by the same person with a different programmer, but this is one of the basic ones and that's what we want. So click on install now, click OK. Let's go through the process of installation. Click on FTP username and password, type this in and then proceed. And then click on activate plugin. Once that's activated, we're ready to get started. Now under settings, you'll notice here, it says XML sitemap. So click on this. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do now is just walk you through these settings. Once you have set it up once, you don't have to set it up anymore. And then it's good to go. Now, normally with this sitemap, I will leave the checks, the boxes checked, and by default I'll leave those as they are because all this means is it'll write a normal XML file with your file name. It will write a zip file. It says building mode. You can either rebuild sitemap if you have changed the content of your blog or you can enable manual sitemap building uh, we're just going to leave that as is because what we want to do is we want to set the settings so that once it's done, it's done and it'll create the sitemap. And every time you create content a few days later or a week later, it'll actually recreate the XML sitemap. That way it keeps it updated. And then when Google comes to your site, they can see the updates basically. Update notifications. It says, Notify Google about updates of your blog. Notify Bing or MSN about updates of your blog. And no registration is required. So you can leave that as is. It says add the sitemap URL to the virtual robots.txt file. Basically the robots.txt file, you don't need to really know about what that is, but basically it's a file that the search engines read. And you can put some limitations on the number of posts in the sitemap, but in this case, we're going to leave it as it is. You can increase the memory limit and so forth and so forth. Now this is advanced options, so I'm not really going to cover it unless you really need to, because this is not something you need to do. Additional pages is basically an area where you can add pages that are not part of your WordPress site. So if you have a URL, to another site, you can add additional pages here. But at this moment, I'm gonna leave this blank because I just wanna create an XML sitemap just for my site. Then you have post priority. Basically, this will have the ability to prioritize the way a post should be calculated. For example, 
you can make it so that it prioritizes the post and all of the posts at the same time. Or as you can see by default, it says comment count. So it uses the number of comments of the post to calculate priority. So that's kind of saying that if you have more interaction with your site and more people sticking on your site and using it as a way to communicate with you or other members, it'll actually prioritize that. We're going to leave that as it is. Then you can change the location of your sitemap, either a custom location or an automatic location. We're going to keep that as it is. You have the sitemap content. Basically, what do you want to be included in your sitemap? Or what do you want the search engines to look at and index? So we got the homepage, the posts, we got the static pages, we have multi page posts, include categories. Now, if you're going to do like keyword LSI related cat keywords for categories, then you can also check that. I'm going to check this. These are basically excluded categories that you don't want. I'm going to leave it as it is because I want everything to be indexed. This is just the frequency. For example, how fast do you want it to be updated? So every time the home page is updated, it's daily or post or static pages, categories, and so forth. And of course you got the priorities and in this case, I'm going to leave it as it is. If I click on update options, we've updated the configurations. However, we're not done yet. You still need to generate the sitemap to generate the sitemap. You'll need to click here to build it for the first time. Now, in order to write your sitemap file in your zipped sitemap file, you're going to need to access your FileZilla FTP program. And basically go back to the main root directory where your WordPress files are located. So mine are located under public underscore HTML. So what I need to do next is to simply create two text files and name them a certain name. So I'm going to open up the file manager. I have windows open and I'm going to create two text documents. So if I right click and click on new and click on text document and I do that again, and I'm going to name one of these sitemap.xml dot G Z. And then we're going to name the other one sitemap dot XML. Once that's done, we're going to simply drag and drop these files into the main directory. Once this is done, we have to select these two files and change the permissions to seven, seven, seven. So simply select these, right click, click on file permissions, type in 777, click on OK. And then now we should be able to write and generate the XML sitemap. So if we go back here, you'll see a link that says, if you change something on your server or blog, you should rebuild the sitemap manually. So if we click on this, Within half a second, as you can see here, it says your sitemap was last built on this date, this time, and your sitemap zipped was last built at this time. So now we're set and we're done and that's all we have to do. From this point on, it should automatically build the sitemap depending on the frequencies that we have chosen here, which you can also change yourself. And that's it. Now you have made it so that it's friendly and search engine friendly and you're good to go. That's it.